Hi, this is Jason San Jose with the Flex SDK team. I just want to quickly show you the example Chirpy application that I was using in my blog post as an example of how to style the TabView Navigator tab bar. So what you're looking at here is the main application, uh, the TabView Navigator application, and in my CSS I have a style rule for the TabView Navigator tab bar skin part. Uh, that points to a skin class here, my TabView Navigator tab bar skin. Uh, we'll dive in that, into that in a second. Uh, I've also got some other style rules here um, for uh, advanced styling of the buttons in the tab bar to set a different chrome color in a few different skin states. And I've also defined some media queries to change the font size um, when the DPI changes. Um, you can also see here in the application file that I have four view navigators that represent four tabs at the bottom of the application. So uh, just a quick look at the tab view navigator tab bar skin. So this extends button bar skin and is based on the same tab view navigator tab bar skin that we had in the mobile theme. Um, in the constructor, you can see we can um, customize the border based on the DPI. Uh, in the create children, I specified different uh, class factories for the first, last, and middle buttons. And then the main part here in draw background is uh, what makes the tab bar look different here for, uh, for my example. So what I've done, instead of using the uh, gradient that I use in the mobile theme, instead we're using a little different gradient that gives that glossy effect, and you can see the gradient fill here. And then a few more uh, graphics calls to just draw the borders. So if you want to take a look at the application, I've got it running here on an iPod. So I'll go ahead and launch Chirpy. And you can see that there's the action bar at the top, and there are my tabs here at the bottom. I've also got it running on an Android phone. There it is, same application, same skin. And lastly, I've got it running on a Blackberry Playbook. A little bit harder to fit this one in frame, but there it is. Um, so keep in mind that the updates for using uh, Flash Builder and Flex on iOS and the Playbook are coming in June. And go ahead and download the example FXP to take a look at how to customize your own Tabby Navigator skin.